Okay, so this is the video about the five S's. Now let's how to taste like a special. First, to taste properly, you're going to need to make sure the environment that you're tasting is free from other strange Free from strange aromas. Well, there's food. That's more impact. We don't wear perfume or cologne. Next, we have the five S's. All right, the five S's. C, swirl, sniff, sip and savor. All right, that one's done. Mark complete. Check. On to the next one. All right. The first one is C. Right, there's this bit about the surface. meniscus and the core. And when you do this, you look at the color in the middle of the glass, which we call the core, versus like the trim. color towards the meniscus or where the rim meets the glass. Right, the core. Because that's going to be a very meniscus. different color. See it? The reason yeah. we do this is to compare the core in the middle of the glass versus the rim near the look of the glass. So, what color is it? Well, what color is this and one? Rain amber. Yeah. So, how do you communicate this? Red. I think it's red. That's a color. This is isn't this isn't the core and the meniscus. Some might call it red. Some might call it. And this is important. This is her little scale. Some red. But what's the right term? There really isn't a right term. But you do need to be able to communicate consistently with people so that they know what you're talking about. Right. For example, if someone looked at a very youthful wine and said to me that the color is garnet, that would suggest to me well, that it is... looks. Brick red. This is pretty light. So a little orange hue to it. To me, that and may it, imply that a wine has some age on it. it. It's so kind of. Was really trying to communicate orange. that it was. A it's a little orangey, yeah. So you need to communicate. It's not purpley. It's not. Now for the MW exam, I would call a yellow wine or a wine yellow color for white was straw. That's right. And I would qualify she has this, the red. She'll show this in chart. Red wine. As ruby, and this right, is where right, I right. formed ruby. my basic color. So it's ruby. After that, you look at the brightness of that color. Is it a pale straw? Color. Pale, pale ruby? Or is it a deep ruby? Pale or a ruby. Deep straw. Okay. And then you have to look at the different hues to the wine. Right, here we go. So let's say, for example, white, you're going to look at some green tones deep. to gold tones. And for red wine, here we go. it's going to have either a bluish or bubblish up. kind of... So this is the key here. And so why... Do you want to try it? I'm ready. Go ahead. And tell me, so what was the term she used? The Hue. Uh, yeah, that yeah, ruby red. is the standard red. And then wh where do you think it's purple, ruby, red, brick red, red brown, or brown? Red brown. You know, I would say it's definitely, it's on that part of the scale. For me, it's not, this isn't a purpley wine. This is a, this is towards the brown. I'd say it's a, to me, I'd say it's brick red. Red, it's actually red. To it, to something more brown or tawny. Yeah, that's interesting, so isn't it? Mean, yeah. They gain color and move towards the gold and the so, you know, with no other information, you might think that this is an aged wine. We obviously know that it's a cheap Italian wine from 07, but... Spectrum. Well, red and wine... So, this is an interesting thing to continually revisit. I actually think I'll cut out this little bit, 
and it'll be a continuous thing that we always have access to as we go through these until we idea. until we just nail it, you know, until it's just like you just do it, right? Oh, that's a that's a yellow gold. Lose their color, and they go from those that's dark fun. purple hues to brown tawny ones. This has to do with oxidation and the polymerization of polyphenols. See, which what I'm finding about. is the the videos now, that are really short are color. more useful. It's this one's a little too long. I should have just chopped it down. So make sure that C is part of your wine tasting ritual. As a side note, you may have heard people say, wow, this wine has great legs. Okay. Just I'm going to, unless you want to learn about legs, legs are kind of pointless. Okay, that was that was useful, huh? That mm -hmm. was interesting. Mm -hmm. And on, when I go back and look at the video, my hunch is, is what I'll do is I'll say, oh, we need to, I'm going to cut out that straw ruby bit and I'm going to include that in our next activity as a, a quick reminder on that. That would be very good. Okay. Let's uh, have a look at old uh, the old snipper. The old snipper. You know, I better pause and make sure I'm 